I have a confession. I'm not perfect. That's right, I said it. I'm not perfect. Even I, myself, peak pineapple, make mistakes. So my gift to you is to actually give you three helpful tips so that way you don't make these mistakes in your video game. The first mistake I made in my game was overscoping. To overscope basically means to work over and beyond the initial plan of the project. In my case, my first commercial game was only supposed to take about six to eight months. <laughs> and well, as you can see, it's been almost two and a half years. Now, one of the reasons I actually ended up overscoping the project was because I got stuck in a feature creep cycle. Like I ended up adding more abilities, I ended up removing some, I ended up adding more stuff and taking it out, and I just really wasn't sticking with my gut and trusting it in the choices that I made. Also, not to mention that I wanted to make the game multiplayer, which took even more time. So my tip for anyone still creating their game is to stay within the scope of the project. Do not go beyond and trust your gut. Trust me, it will help in the long end. Since we're on the topic of stomachs, let's also bring up mistake number two that you want to avoid. Trusting your gut at the wrong moments. Now, while you're making your game, you're going to find yourself actually going through and feeling various different mix of emotions which therefore means you're going to be making some very big decisions. My recommendation is to not make any huge decisions if you're feeling worried, anxious, angry, or even impatient. For me, the emotion that I was feeling was actually impatient. Because I was impatient, it forced me to make really bad decisions like making tasks in the game. Because I actually ended up adding tasks in the game, it made me backtrack and take the whole task minigame out. My video game is actually supposed to be about hide and seek and just adding tasks in the game didn't really make sense and would confuse a lot of players. So by trusting myself at the wrong moment, I ended up wasting about three to four months, which is valuable time that I could have put forth towards another area in the project. My tip to you is to actually find a group of people who have a lot of wisdom about game dev and before you make any big decisions in your game, you should probably ask them and get their opinion. I guarantee this will end up saving you a lot of time in the end. Okay, so the final tip that I want you guys to avoid when making your game is ignore all the what ifs. What I learned is what ifs lead to negativity. Negativity leads to insecurity about your game. You're going to end up getting a lot of bad thoughts and ask yourself, well, what if the competition of another game drowns out my game? What if all the bad comments about my game are true? What if my game doesn't sell? The mistake I made was focusing way too much on the what ifs. Specifically, I kept on focusing on the bad comments and thinking that my game was way too similar to Among Us and it was basically a copycat. I'd be lying if I said those comments made me lose a bit of motivation, but guess what? I bounced back and I reminded myself that what I'm doing is to make me happy. And those few bad comments wouldn't dictate my dream to become a full-time game dev. So my tip to actually help you guys not focus on the what ifs is to surround yourself by positivity and a great community and family as well. By doing this, you will actually make the insecurity about your game go away. And with that, I hope you guys enjoyed these three tips to help you not make these mistakes while making your video game. And if you guys want to see more content like this, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next video.